Hey Aquarius, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so Aquarius, I do see that there has been a breakup or disconnection. All right, you and your person out here, you guys, there's no communication, there's no clear communication. Someone out here is running from commitment probably. All right, that's what I'm getting here. Um, so, you know, I feel that for a lot of you Aquarius, you guys were in your head all this while, okay? You guys probably, um, there was a lot of um, wishful thinking, daydreaming, okay? You were building castles up in the air, all right? Uh, you know, constantly dreaming of a fairy tale ending with this person out here where you felt, oh, like me and, you know, me and this person were together and we're going to get married, we're going to get committed or whatever you wished for, right? But I feel that things have just uh, crashed down, okay? And I feel now you have a reality check of what the situation is. I feel you were second-guessing yourself and there was a lot of denial of truth all this while out here, okay? But where the connection was going. But that was only because you were thinking emotionally and not logically. Now you clearly realize that this person out here is not in for that partnership. You feel that this person out here is not collaborating with you. This person out here, there is a lack of teamwork. Or this person out here also for a lot of you could feel that you're too much work. Maybe they feel this relationship is too much work. You are too much work. It's a lot of hard work to keep you happy. They're, they're, um, they're feeling left out right now by you. Okay, you've given them the cold shoulder out here from the time you've had this realization. Okay, from the time this the universe is given, you know, you know, there's this splash of cold water on your face. Like, dude, wake up, you know. It's not going where you want to. This person out here feels left out. Okay, they want to come back. They want to come back around. They want to come back around. They miss you. Again, codependent on you. All right. They feel abandoned by you, rejected by you. They're not getting that nurturing, caring attention from you. Okay, you're not there to listen to them anymore. You're not there to listen to their bullshit anymore. You're not let, there to, uh, you know, forgive them and give them another chance for the bullshit that they've done all this while out here. But they're not even making a decision out here. All right. They, <coughs> they want to come back around here, but they're still very laid back. Okay, they, they think they're right. They think what they're doing is right. So they think that they can keep coming back into your life every time they feel lonely because it is your responsibility, Aquarius, to make them feel good. It's your responsibility to make them feel loved. It's your responsibility to give them that approval that, yeah, I'm still here. You can keep fucking around with me. And they refuse to make a choice. They refuse to make a choice. I feel this person out here is not indecisive. I feel they just purposely ignore making a choice or refuse to see the situation for what it is. Don't give in, Aquarius. Don't give in yet. Because this is someone here who's purposely trying to stay balanced out here. You know why? Because they don't want to make a choice out here where they know that whatever choice they make, right? Both the options look bad is what I'm getting here for a lot of you. Both the options look bad to them, okay? But it's like bad in the sense not choosing you is a bad decision. But either they commit to you, okay, they come towards you, they talk to you, they make a choice out here, okay, and they choose to talk towards you and make things, move things forward, or they completely let you go. Both the choices are bad because they, they don't want to commit, all right, and they don't even want to let you go. So they're like, you know what, I'm just going to stay out here, all right, because this is a challenging decision, all right, and I don't know which option is going to lead to the best outcome out here, but both the possibilities are leading to a bad outcome, okay. So that's what they're doing right now which is why they're still maintaining the breakup. They're still not choosing or making the right decision here. Let's see. Let's clarify. So I can give you more information. Clarify, please. Spirit guys in this universe. Let's start clarifying thoughts. <laughs> okay. What I'm getting here, Aquarius, is that right off the bat, I'm getting someone here who really, yes, they miss you, yes, 
to make you happy. I'm going to say that. They miss you. Okay, they miss you. But it's not about missing, missing you so much. They do have a very strong connection to you. But the missing part is like, I don't have anyone now anymore. I don't have anyone to talk to. I don't have anyone who will take my bullshit. I don't have anyone who's going to listen to me. I don't have anyone who's going to make me feel happy when I'm sad, when I'm low. I don't have anyone to went out with. So again, I'm getting a codependent energy out here. They want to come back. They are desperate to come back. It's like, I need you. They don't want you. They need you right now, Aquarius. You are their need. You are their oxygen. You're like that uh, breath. Uh, you're like that fresh air that they need right now. You know, you're like that, um, you know, they're gasping for air. They're gasping for fresh air right now. All right. And you are that. And you have realized that you have been giving into a person, giving into a situation that only probably showed you a lot of dreams. Or you were dreaming about wanting all this with, person, with this person, but none of it was grounded in reality. There is a very strong realization that you got, okay? There's an epiphany. There's like this huge realization you've had. There's like this, uh, you know, like this blunt truth, okay? That you have, uh, you know, um, realized, okay? And you're no longer wanting to take a risk of trying to work in a partnership with this person anymore. You think uh, you're not being a fool again. You're not being a fool again. This person is addicted to you, Aquarius. I'm not going to lie. They, you are not talking to them. You're, there's little to no communication. You're in separation. Whatever it is. This person out here is not even... You, you know, they're so smart. They're not showing you how obsessed they are with you. They're pulled away. They've completely pulled away from you. But they're dying. They're dying. They're obsessed. They're addicted to you. No matter what or who they have in the life, you are still the number one, all right? The only reason they don't come towards you is because I feel this person here now has abandonment issues or they already had, and now they're like, okay, Aquarius is never taking me back. And I feel half of it is also because they're not being able to take that decision. They're not making the decision here, okay? They're not choosing one possibility out here, okay? Which is why things are stuck and stagnant between you both. You release them, you let them go, and this is a big shocker to them. They never knew that they are going to stop getting attention from you. They never knew that you're going to let them go. For them, it's like, all right, Aquarius, they're never letting me go. Aquarius can never get over me. Aquarius can never move on from me. Hello? That's realization time, right? The connection is still very strong. The connection is still very strong, Aquarius, which is why probably a lot of times you still miss this person out here. But you're just going to consider this as a missed opportunity, okay? The connection is very strong, but this person here still needs to make a choice. They still need to make a choice out here. Like I said, maybe between two people, maybe you and someone else, or it could just be uh, giving you this connection the priority that it needs and moving things to the next level out here. Take it how it resonates out here. This person here wants to give you a commitment. This person here wants to get uh, get things off ground and they want to give you something stable, secure, something which is tangible and offer out here which has uh, the potential to grow into something like marriage or something long lasting out here. But it's their own fears. Their own fears are making them feel restricted. Their own fears or probably other people's opinions or other people's pressure, family pressure or society pressure, whatever it is, it's stopping them from giving you this, okay? They're very close. They're very close to communicating with you and apologizing, okay? They're in two minds. They're trying to balance the situation out. They're trying to um, uh, weigh out the pros and cons. But I feel this person here is very close to communicating with you, very close to communicating with you. Although, the only thing I need to tell you is that although this is a very strong spiritual connection, although it's a very, very strong spiritual connection, this person, again, like I said, they do want commitment with you. But again, you are dealing with someone out here who likes to be single, all right? So that's something that Aquarius that you need to know. For a lot of you, I feel that this is why the breakup happened. This is why they don't take action because they still want to be single. They're very focused on their independence in the terms of their mind, their finances, their own growth. They're focused on societal growth, prosperity, etc. But it's all about them, 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 them. Okay. This is why, again, I'm telling you, codependent energy. Who am I going to talk to? I need Aquarius to be there for me. Okay. There's no one else for me. No one compares to Aquarius. All right. Again, okay. I'm not saying that they don't love you, but their love is very convenient. Okay. It's very convenient. 
so that's something that you need to take care of the connection is still strong if you're asking me they still love you very very much but they want they want easy come easy go okay not in a not, not in a way where they want to just come in and <coughs> uh, get physical pleasure that's not what i'm saying they want this connection but they want that perfect recipe okay where you keep giving them that emotional uh, support they keep getting that emotional fulfillment and they give you enough to keep you in the connection and the moment it gets serious they run away so that's like that perfect recipe that they want of this connection now they're coming in to apologize all right and they want something stable with you but again just because it's the ace of pentacles it does not mean that it's leading to marriage it means there is a potential here for growth uh, provided there is a lot of effort time energy resources emotions put into it to grow okay it's going to be hard work so if you guys are not going to collaborate it's not going to work out all right so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates do leave your comments below like share subscribe let me know if you enjoyed this spread and i'll see you next time bye